It was a particularly exciting weekend with two big events. You had Donald Trump speaking at the Turning Point event in Detroit. You had Joe Biden appearing to freeze up on stage as he was leaving his massive fundraiser with Barack Obama. And uh, the controversy now is the pro-Biden Democrat personalities, for which I believe probably only exist on Twitter, are furious. Biden did not freeze up, they say. They, you're, you're exaggerating. It didn't happen. He appeared to have frozen up. This is the story from the New York Post. Biden appears to freeze up, has to be led off stage by Obama at Megabucks LA fundraiser. In the video, as they're wrapping up and everyone's clapping and cheering, at first, Joe Biden is waving and smiling and giving thumbs up. And then he abruptly just stops moving at all. Barack Obama, then, as, we, as he waves, reaches over, grabs Joe Biden's arm to pull him, and then pats him on the back as he leads him off the stage. Call it whatever you want, it happened. And now you got these Democrats that are freaking out, furious, saying, no, it didn't, you're lying. Ladies and gentlemen, we are beyond giving Joe Biden the benefit of the doubt. Live in the real world, please. I am not saying definitively, Joe Biden froze up and his brain vanished and he was let off stage. I'm saying it appears that Joe Biden briefly freezes and Biden then grabs him to pull him along. So what? The issue is this. As Democrats scream, it never happened. And you can literally watch the video to see that it did. It does not mean that in the five or 10 seconds where Biden is not moving, he was out of his mind. Very well could have been that Joe Biden was smiling as someone was saying something to him. Let's say you're standing on the stage and you're waving and giving thumbs up. And then someone in the audience is mouthing something like, Joe Biden, you're the best. I love you. And Biden's looking at him, trying to figure out what he's saying. And then Obama's like, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Grabs him. Doesn't mean his brain wasn't working, right? Okay, here's the problem. And here's why this matters. We have so many instances where Joe Biden has, I don't know, fallen up the stairs on numerous occasions. He's slurred his words, creating new words. He's called the wrong countries, uh, the wrong names. He said, what's, what's a fun one? A three, a three letter word, jobs. He's got a million and one instances where his brain is failing. You've got the interview with David Muir where he's talking about weapons in Ukraine and he's talking like, this. and I'm going to play the videos for you. Okay. So here's the issue, my friends. If 99 times I get a guy can't speak, can't talk, can't think is failing. And then on stage, he freezes up. I say, the preponderance of evidence at this point is that he froze up and had to be led off stage. You do not get the benefit of the doubt. But by all means, Democrats keep saying it. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend Trump doesn't have his slurs as well. I guess uh, during the speech, he said the wrong name of a doctor. OK, I guess. Dude, look, Donald Trump is spry. OK, I call him spry. He's an old man, but he's spry. Am I happy about Trump's age? No. I am worse off. We are worse off for Biden's age. I would have preferred. Well, I mean, there's a lot of candidates we'd all prefer. But right now, the best we've got and the best we've had is Donald Trump. Let me tell you, first and foremost, what does a president do? Foreign policy. The president is the enforcer of laws and the commander of chief in this country, federal laws. And so all these people who think I'm going to vote for the president so that he, I don't know, uh, takes ta uh, taxes off of tips. OK, look. I can appreciate a president leading an agenda saying no more taxes on tipped wage on tipped income. Right. Big move happening right now where Republicans are tipping 20 percent or more and then writing vote Trump. No taxes on tips. President can't do that. Trump saying he wants to lead that charge. OK, that means something. President can't do that. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, wow, we got to vote for Trump because he's going to clean up the garbage in the streets. No, that's going to be state level. It's going to be legislative. But what the president can do is foreign policy and federal law enforcement. So you come to me and you say the economy will be better under Biden. Well, the economy is going to be better with a functioning Congress. That's why I'd say vote for Congress, right? For the president, I want peace agreements because of war. And I want law enforcement for the corruption and accountability. I want accountability for what we're seeing. But let's do this. We'll get into more of that stuff. We'll talk about the current polls. But let me show you where Joe Biden is at. Of course, my friends, before we get started, become a member over at TimCast.com by clicking join us. If you're viewing over on Rumble, 
We appreciate it. Rumble is amazing. We love Rumble. And uh, Rumble doesn't have the same revenue as YouTube. No disrespect. We love Rumble. But if you're a Rumble viewer, then please go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we can keep this up and we can win. Here's a story for the New York Post. Biden appears to freeze up, has to be led off stage by Obama at Megabucks LA fundraiser. President Biden appeared to freeze up on stage and had to be let off by Obama at the conclusion of a star-studded campaign fundraiser in L.A. Saturday night. The awkward moment took place after Biden and his predecessor sat for a 45-minute interview with late-night host Jimmy Kimmel at the Peacock Theater. As the men stood for applause, Biden's gaze seemed to become fixed on the crowd for a full 10 seconds until former President Barack Obama took his wrist and led him off stage. So there, here's the, we'll play the video. We'll play the video. We have two videos to play. The incident follows a spate of caught on camera account moments where Biden appeared dazed or confused about where he was, including when he appeared to wander off at the G7 summit and Apulia, Italy, before uh, I'm sorry, during a parachute exhibition. The media can lie all day and night. I'm sorry. After the 80th, 90th, 100th instance of Biden gaffing or flubbing or failing to remember where he was or saying the names of countries wrong or making up words, none of it gets the benefit of the doubt. Donald Trump calls a doctor by the wrong name. And I say, everybody makes mistakes. That's why pencils have erasers. To be fair, he is an old man, though. We should keep an eye on that. Joe Biden says next now recent bad calf care. Trinidad shop at a pressure. These aren't words. So like at this point, I'm just like, dude, guys, Donald Trump saying the wrong name of a guy, saying the wrong name of a country, confusing a fact or detail happens to everybody. I keep an eye on it. Like I said, Trump's an old man. Joe Biden is at the point where all of these are straws on the camel's back. Now, I think perhaps the camel's back has already shattered and it's been actually bifurcated down to the molecular level by the weight of these straws. But there are still people in media saying, no, no, these things don't matter. All right. say in this instance, Italian Prime Minister Georgia Maloney stepped in to gently take Biden's hand and lead him back in time for a group photo. And they said this never happened. Biden was simply greeting other paratroopers. There's a demonstration happening right in front of your eyes. Biden spins around and walks away and he gets like a thumbs up. Who's talking to? If your job is to be the leader of a nation, you should be paying attention to the presentation they've asked you to and not breaking in the middle of it to wander off. Again, if Trump were to wander off and walk away and wave, we'd all wonder what he was doing or why. But with the amount of evidence piling up against Biden, showing that he has a failed cognitive state, you do not get the benefit of the doubt. Well, here we go, baby. Here we go. We got David Hogg first and uh, first up. David Hogg says, for the record, this did not happen. And it's a total lie. Next up, we got Eric Schultz. This did not happen. Next up, we got Dorian Hunter Davis, Ph.D. Doctor, doctor, tell me what's going on. Give me the news. Media instructor and scholar at NYU and Newmark J School. Ah, a journalism professor. Thank heavens he's here. He says, the New York Post's mischaracterization of the actual footage here is so egregious that it's hard for me to believe they're not just intentionally lying to their readers. Thank you, doctor. Doctor, thank you. All right. All right. And then here is Ed Krasenstein swooping in. Here's the video. If you call standing there why people applaud for, for him freezing up, you mean there's some typos in there, Ed? I think you meant to say if you call standing there while people applaud for him, freezing up, and Obama putting his arm around him as being led off, then yes, otherwise it's blatant misinformation. Lie all you want. Now, I would call this a deflection. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you the, oh, so, uh, I want to show you the actual video footage, which I, I hope we have, uh, uh, we have here. So let's, uh, let's, let's play this. This is from Chris Gardner. And this is The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, let's go full screen. You know what? I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to jump right to the end. Right. Uh, it's going to freeze on me, isn't it? Yep. X video always does that. Let's pull this. Let's pull this tweet up. Can I even pull this tweet up? There we go. We're going to pull up this tweet. We're going to play that there video for you. And uh, here you can see. We got some music playing. We don't, we don't need the music. All right. There's Joe Biden just standing there. Three, four, five, six, seven. So it's about seven seconds. And then Biden grabs his hand, pulls him, pats him on the back, and then keeps his hand on his back, pushing him forward. (laughs) 
He's, he's, he's talking to him. I don't think this is the biggest deal in the world. I got to be completely honest. And I think it's fair to say it's a toss up whether or not he froze up and had to be led off stage. The idea that it didn't happen, though, is an absurdity. Something happened. Here's him just smiling and staring at the crowd. Biden's waving. And then he reaches back, grabs Biden's arm, which is stiff, pulls him. I think Biden was waiting for Joe. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Obama. Grab him. I think Obama, you see, even I get Obama's waiting for Joe to start walking because they're leaving the stage and Biden just stops and just standing there staring. Dude, his brain is gone. OK, he appeared to freeze up. Here's the important thing to point out. The New York Post said Biden appears to freeze up, has to be let off stage by Obama. They didn't say Biden freezes up. They're even hedging their bets with this headline. He appears to have froze up. Fair point. Now you get all these people saying it never happened. It never happened. All right. Here's the video from the Krasensteins. This one's important. They say, if you call standing there, people applaud him. I think the context is very important. So let's play this video so you can watch. Here's a smiling Biden. I guess there's no audio in this one. So Biden is waving. There's Obama. Now watch what happens with this. This is a very clever video footage. Biden waves, waves back and forth. Everybody's smiling. Obama's waving. Everybody's having a good time. Good time. He's clapping. There you go, Joe. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And now he stops. This is where he freezes. Okay, I'm going to pause. Biden is now, he's been frozen for about two or three seconds. He is not moving. He's not moving his head. His arms are not moving. His legs are not moving. Camera change. Far away angle where you can't see anything. Then... Obama grabs his arm, which you can barely see, and walks him off stage. Now, here's the other important factor here. Remember we counted seconds? Let's do that. Actually, oh, wow. Interesting. It, it appears as, it was 10 seconds, right? Stops moving, so one. So at 27, so we're at three seconds, four, five, six, seven, about seven seconds. He's, 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 he's stopped moving, and then Biden grabs his arm and pulls him to lead him off stage. Make your assumptions. Say it's nothing. I don't care. The idea that we can just ignore these constant issues is, is, is absurd. The idea that this just didn't happen. Stop lying to yourselves. I think it's fair to say, um, you know, maybe he froze up. He didn't. But I got to say, based on the things we've seen from the past, he seems to be losing it. Even if he does appear frozen up for only a few seconds, it's not confidence building. It's another grain of sand in the heat. It's not the apocalypse. It's not a grand mal seizure or anything like this, or who knows, maybe it is. But we've got concerns about Grandpa Joe's health. I want to play this. This is audio I'd like you to hear from when Biden was talking with David Muir. I think I'm getting his name right. Sort of direct strike inside Russia. But we did witness this shift in recent days, authorizing American weapons for limited direct strikes. Are American weapons being used right now inside Russia? They're authorized to be used in proximity to the border. We're not authorizing strikes 200 miles into Russia. We're not authorizing strikes on Moscow, on the Kremlin. You can hear him wheezing as he, David Mears sounds, sounds totally fine. Uh, so are we seeing weapons being used? And we're not authorizing the use of the weapons in, the, in Russia. Come on. Look, man. I'm just, it's, it's insane. This game of make-believe that all of these people are playing. It's, it's a game of make-believe. I've not met a single person who's like, uh, I completely think that Joe Biden is fine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull up the most important problem right now, just for you guys. Let's see what's the latest, most important problem. They have May. And we can see government and poor leadership is the number one singular issue at 21%. The people can tell that Joe Biden ain't all with it. But we'll jump over to this. Don't take my word for it. Just Google it. I Google searched Biden gaff and I found a 24 minute and 31 second video compilation. Joe Biden's best gaffes of all time. These are just his best. This is a half an hour of watching Joe Biden slur and gaff. Holy crap. You don't have to like Trump, man, but be honest. 
Again, I will stress, what does a president do? Foreign policy, first and foremost, is the commander in chief of the armed forces, and they are the head of the executive branch, federal law enforcement at the highest level. What does that mean? It means if you want federal crimes enforced, the president's the guy. Now he appoints the AG and the AG takes care of most of it that or just about the job, right? So what are my concerns right now? My concerns right now are unaccountable levels of corruption in the various instances. My concerns are war, World War Three. So I want a president who is of sound mind and capability, who is going to deal with these issues at the law enforcement level with corruption, crime, etc. These are state level. When you're seeing the gangs and the shootings in all these different cities, you're going to have to vote at your local level to fix these things. Donald Trump can do some things with the FBI. I would like him to I would like to see him reform the FBI. I have no guarantee he'll do it. In fact, I'm I'm leaning towards he probably won't. He wants to build a big, new, beautiful building. Maybe he'll fire some people. Maybe some people will go run for the hills. CIA, all the same. All the intelligence agencies need reform or abolition. But I'll settle with reform because I don't know that Donald Trump's going to go in there and be some great revolutionary or anything. I just want to see some people get held criminally accountable for the things that they did, like Crossfire Hurricane. I want to see criminal accountability. I want to see investigation into collusion between various state actors in the federal government when it came to politics. I want to see these things. More importantly, I want to see negotiations that result in peace in the Middle East, in, the, in Southeast Asia, in Eastern Europe. Biden, in his, in his first term, has done nothing to simmer things down. In fact, they've gotten worse substantially. I don't want war. I don't want World War III. And I have to wonder, you know, Donald Trump says he's not going to ban TikTok anymore. And I have to wonder. I think TikTok is being weaponized. I do. Uh, and it's not the only platform to fracture the mind of the American youth. However, I have to wonder if there are some ideas that China does want to permeate. And that is pro-Trump. Why? Trump doesn't want international conquest. He wants America first. This means that the U.S. would begin working on itself more and China would be less impeded. Trump is less likely to defend Taiwan than Biden is. So China's interests really are probably like, guys, guys, maybe we should allow these right wing videos on TikTok. And a lot of people mention that because Trump wins. It's good for us. It's an interesting, it's an interesting thought. I don't know for sure. What I can tell you is even the machine knows. Here's ChatGPT. I just love pulling up ChatGPT. Here are 10 instances where Joe Biden's words were described as incomprehensible or gibberish. Batacaf care. I love Batacaf care. Biden said, we're going to build back better Batacaf care during a campaign event while discussing health care. Okay. Trinidad that shot out of pressure. In an attempt to say true international pressure, you don't know that, ChatGPT. You made that up. Biden ended up saying, I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize Trinidad that shot out of pressure. <laughs> You know, go, you know, the thing. I don't know that this one was gibberish when he said, you know, the thing. I think the issue is that he said, we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know, you know, the thing. I think that was when he didn't want to say God because young progressives are not uh, religious. They're atheists. Oh, I love Next Nell Recent. That was fun. But I didn't attempt to talk about international relations and ended up saying Next Nell Recent. I have no idea what he was trying to say with Next Nell Recent. That was fun, though. Quote, a three-letter word, jobs, J-O-B-S, jobs. Ugh. So that's just not, that's not gibberish, but, you know, that's funny. Here, here's one where he's just racist. Poor kids are just as bright and as talented as white kids. Uh-huh. This one's funny. Number seven, we cannot let this... We've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through the pandemic of 17 all the way around 16. <laughs> we went back in time. Go wow. We have never let our democracy sakes second fiddle. Way that we can both have a democracy and correct the public health. Uh, for real. Sake second fiddle. I think he meant to say take second fiddle. But the pandemic of 17 all the way around 16. He's talking about. Uh, uh, 1917, right? All the way around 16. I don't know what that means. Like we went back in time or something? Misspeaking, fine. Here's one. Number eight. His mom lived in Long Island for 10 years or so. God rest her soul. And although she's, wait, your mom's still, your mom's still alive. It was your dad who passed. God bless her soul. <laughs> that one's just, you know, old Grampy Joe's confused. 
All lead an effective strategy to mobilize true to that shop at a pressure. We, that, they already mentioned that one. That was number that you got to repeat it in here. So there's only nine. And the last one is pack Adelac Ack Ack. Biden said dur- said this during a speech, and it was another instance of words coming out as gibberish. Remember that one? Oh, I I, I got pack Adelac back Ack. Pack Adelac back Ack Ack or whatever he said. A lot of people compare that to Mars Attacks, the old film, where the aliens communicated communicated by going back Ack Ack. Okay, now you understand why we're deeply concerned about Joe Biden's cognitive functions. He does not appear to have them. If a guy trips one time, he's walking and he stumbles. I say, hey, hey, watch out there. If he trips four or five times in a week, I might be like, hey, buddy, you're tripping there quite a bit. If he starts stumbling and falling every week, several times, I'm going to be like, my guy, I'm worried about you. I think you need to go to the doctor. If he's stumbling, freezing up and spouting gibberish, I'd start thinking if, if it was an old guy, I'd be thinking, oh, there he goes. He's slipping. He's slipping. And that's literally Joe Biden. But I got to be honest. My point is you trip one time. It's no big deal. You trip several times. It's starting to get concerning. You trip every week several times. You may have MS or something, right? There's something causing you to stumble and struggle to walk. Joe Biden is an old man, so I don't need to come out and say he's got he's having seizures, strokes or anything like this. Some people are saying micro seizures. There are uh, grand mal seizures. A lot of people think seizures are like freaking out. Sometimes you just freeze up. So many seizures, you just stop and you're that's it. You got to what you got to know. These things very important. I don't know. I just say this. He's a terribly old man. Okay, he's a very, very old man. We want him to be safe and healthy. And this job ain't for him. Now, currently, uh, the, they did raise $30 million at their fundraiser. So good for them. Trump still raised more since it, Trump's up about 400 or more million dollars, probably way more. In the polls, currently, Trump has improved his lead. Now at 41.2, receiving a 0.1 bump up uh, uh, from Joe Biden. Real Clear Politics has Trump up 0.8. So he's maintaining that lead. And that's where we're currently at. I don't know what happens come November. I am terrified of a Biden presidency because the man cannot function. And we've already seen total disaster. We're on the brink of World War Three. And whether it's Obama's third term, whatever you want to call it, because someone has to be doing the work for this guy. Things have not been going well. Foreign policy is a disaster. Our southern border is a disaster. This is not working. There is a tie between immigration directly with the economy. People in local communities are dealing with illegal immigrants sleeping under bridges, taking over community centers and schools. It ain't working. Figure it out. But I hope. I hope people realize <clears throat> this idea that Biden is not ill. Nonsense. You can't lie about it anymore. No one believes you. When they come out like, this never happened. Biden's of sound mind. Oh, shut up. Did regular people in this country, they watch Joe Rogan. That's what they watch. Politically active, like super politicos, they watch Tim Kest. Because that we're just, we're in the weeds. At least Joe talks about aliens a little bit, I guess. Even Joe is saying Biden is gone. Wake up. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 1 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you all then.